Hello, um, this is my um, Intel um, DH61CR motherboard um, and um, I've been recently building one of these for a friend um, who had one of these motherboards in his computer and it started off with an i3 um, but these boards are very capable of going up to a third gen um, top of the range um, i7 so um, I thought it, I thought actually these, these boards are quite good so I wanted to flash the BIOS in order to support that now um, so I've actually ended up doing two of these well actually three including his so I've learned a little bit from doing it um, and basically you have different revisions there's an AA207 an AA204 and an AO, AA209 uh, motherboard revision um, at least the ones that I've dealt with um, and so the AA204 uh, motherboard is a very early early revision so that comes with a BIOS that's usually less than 48 um, and 48 is the main BIOS that you need before you can flash 99 so with this with this motherboard in front of me this was a 207 so that already has um, 48 on it but the 204 which was my friend's board that only had um, that only had something like version 20 so I had to flash that to 48 first um, and then obviously go to 99 now the way I found is best to flash all the biases and in fact it probably is the only way you can flash them whatever other methods it tells you to use don't um, because they don't flash properly it seems to me so what you need is a 2 gigabyte uh, memory stick or at least that's what I used um, and on this memory stick um, I first of all put um, 0048.bio which I renamed it to from the extracted file um, and then used recovery mode which is basically this jumper taken off uh, which then will make the BIOS flash in recovery mode so that takes it that took his board from 0020 to 0048 um, just by reading the file um, 0048.bio off this uh, memory stick and then once I've done that you then have to have to again in recovery mode put zero, replace the 0048.bio with the 0099.bio and again it's on this 2 gigabyte uh, memory stick so then um, you then boot that again with the jumper off and you can take this board then up to 99 now if you do this correctly and you use recovery mode and you don't use any other method and you just use recovery mode you should find you still have a network card showing um, a 0000, 0, 0, 0 etc but the Intel management shows you as version 8 um, so this won't get lost if you do it with recovery mode and everything should work fine then now the, the strange bit is that um, after flashing 99 BIOS to any of these board revisions um, you find I found that then this this memory stick this two ter what, sorry two gigabyte memory stick um, no longer will work and I don't know why it just doesn't pick it up it just sits there and the screen remains blank uh, with the jumper off it just won't pick up the BIOS which at that point is now called 0120.bio on the memory stick and the only file on it um, it just wouldn't pick it up so what I found was is instead of having this one formatted as a FAT32 I had to format this 8 gigabyte memory stick as a um, FAT32 and um, I mean it's got a different label on it obviously but um, I had to format this memory stick uh, which is an 8 gigabyte sand disk um, as FAT32 and then it for some reason it likes that bias being on that memory stick not on the other one so this one just had 0120.bio on it um, so then when you take the jumper off this now picks up this memory stick no problem and you flash your BIOS no problem at all and then you've got the latest BIOS on there and then once you've got the latest BIOS on there um, which is obviously 120 you can then put a third gen processor in it um, obviously you want to do all this with your original processor in there because um, until you've got the um, 
uh, the latest BIOS on there it won't support the, the, any higher chip so you want to have the lowest chip that you've got at the moment uh, in there to flash the BIOS and then once you've done the BIOS and the BIOS is all at 120 then you can put a better chip in it um, and these support it quite well and also um, they will support um, 106 um, hundred um, memory and you can have two um, eight gigabytes um, in it so you can have 16 gigabytes of memory in it so it's quite a nice little upgrade for uh, a very simple board and cheap board that you can get off the internet